Hey, welcome to this week's event promoter podcast. Uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about AI event descriptions. We've seen people more and more across the 30,000 events we've been promoting um, using AI event descriptions. So it, we can tell just usually by someone goes from having kind of one to two word, like a couple like sentences describing their event to now having these kind of really full fledged uh, event descriptions that describe the venue really well, describe what people can expect at the event. So we see that working. And then me personally, I host events, both some business events called Scale Omaha, and also I host some local music shows. And I've been using this and among some other AI tactics that we'll talk about in later episodes. But in this one, we're just going to dive right into, I'm going to do a screen share and show you exactly how I'm using event descriptions. And uh, I've kind of learned this from some other people that are doing it really well as well. So I'm going to share my screen here. All right, so um, this is my Event Vesta dashboard for Scale Omaha. We've been doing events through uh, Event Vesta for quite a while. Um, I think the event that I'm going to use as an example is this Omaha Summer Party because this is something that's a little bit more broad than these specific talks that we do. So this should be a little more relevant to a lot more people. So this one I actually did not use. This I, I posted quite a while ago. So this is kind of our normal format where we just say a couple sentences about it. Um, and then we might thank our sponsors. And then we say when, where, and what is Scale Omaha. Um, this by itself is is more than I see a lot of people doing uh, in their event descriptions. And it drives me crazy as an event attendee. When I go to an event, I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. I wonder what this is about. And then I take a look at the event description and it's like the ticket price or something, some other piece of information that's easily accessible somewhere else. Um, uh, and there's like just no information about what the venue's like or, you know, where it's actually happening, what parking's like or what the event is actually about. So A, do that. <laughs> B, AI can help you um, flush that stuff out much faster if you're having trouble getting that done on a regular basis, uh, especially if you're hosting a lot of events. Um, so let's just hop over here to ChatGTP. I'm using ChatGTP 3.5 because this is the one that's free. Anybody can access this. And along with this episode, I'm going to uh, throw out there a kind of swipe file that you can use that is prompts that we share here and some other prompts that we find to be useful. So a bit of a cheat sheet for event uh, descriptions using AI. So uh, for this, I'm going to start out by saying something along the lines of just describing the event. I'm hosting a Omaha startup summer party that we do every year. Here is our current event description. And then I'll just copy and paste this whole little bit here. What, um, and actually I'm gonna copy this too so it knows this information as well. And then the main thing uh, that's helpful to have AI do is, and I might even do this before I copy and paste all of this, here is the event description. Um, ask it to just uh, expand this. So expand this description in a friendly manner. So it's always helpful to tell it what type of tone you want it to, to use. So if it's fun or friendly or professional, you want to explain that. Otherwise, it'll try to guess. And the less guesswork that you can have the AI doing, the more um, appropriate responses you'll be getting from it that describes why someone might want to attend this event. Our audience, so this is the second part that's really important, is always including your audience. So if your audience is, you know, we used the example in the last episode, your audience might be the Omaha tech founder scene like this is, or it might be the Des Moines punk scene, or it might be the performing arts fans in Minneapolis, like being able to include your audience helps the AI really shape it for that audience. So our audience is tech founders, investors, and people who want to work in startups in Omaha and Lincoln, Nebraska. Now, so, so these are, I'll just break these out as different lines so that it's easier to see. These are the different uh, sort of sections. It's the basic prompt, 
and then kind of what the outcome you want is and you can get more in depth describing this and then who the audience is who they're talking to who who we're supposed to be talking to and then the final thing that i do on every single prompt that has helped me really expand uh what we can get out of this is ask me two to three questions i might even say clarifying questions that will help you answer this prompt better and more completely. Now, this is like a great way to just learn in general how to prompt better. You eventually might not need that for every prompt if it's a prompt that you're giving all the time. Um, but what that does is it often will give you information that it needs to give you a good response that you might not have thought of. And this kind of is allowing the AI to train you, train me to, to uh, write better prompts. So let's go ahead and pop, pop this in here and see what it gives us back. So I like the use of emojis. That's not going to be appropriate for every event listing software or, or place, but um, it kind of has like a quick, like punchy, like tagline. And then, uh, you know, some of these details you're going to have to go in here and check out. So it is a poolside event. So that's accurate. I didn't mention that in the original post. So that's probably good to event. Uh, I like the just tone of this is a lot more friendly than what I had written uh, and upgrading for better food options. That's also true. Um, sometimes it'll like say stuff and you'll just have to check and make sure that the thing that it said is actually true and not um, kind of just adding flavor. Sometimes it'll suggest things too that I'm like, oh yeah, I should really do that at this event. Um, whether you're a tech founder, investor, or simply passionate about startups, this is the ultimate networking survey. I would probably get rid of survey. I just don't like that word. It feels too formal. Um, yeah, and so a lot of this is good. What to expect is a good section. Special thanks. And then the clarifying questions down here. Are there any specific themes or key messages you want to uh, emphasize about the event? I think it did an okay job of that. And are there any particular uh, aspects about the venue or the event experience uh, that attendees have enjoyed in previous years? So I might go on to have this like back and forth chat here with the AI to kind of clarify those and get it to the point that I wanted to. Now, let's say I read this and I go, you know what, this is way too informal and I actually need this to be more formal. Can you rewrite this as more formal for a business publication? So let's say I have a specific publication I have to send this to that I want it to be much more formal for. I can send, I can have it rewrite this same exact event description uh, in a much more formal way. And what's really uh, valuable about this is uh, your ability to tailor the description to where you're posting it to. Um, we're working on something that might allow you to do that for publications. Definitely will allow you to do uh, press releases based on your event description, so you don't have to enter those again. But um, we're definitely also working on a, a part of that, which should allow you to write, at least for some publications, specifically for that publication, a press release, which is really something we're excited about. If you're interested in testing that out, uh, message us. Send me a message at podcast at eventvested.com or just craig at eventvested.com, and uh, we'll get you hooked up with a, a little call where we can ask you some questions about how you'd expect that to work and, and really get to the bottom of what, how, what will make that most useful as we're building it. So these are um, just some tips for actually hopping in here into ChatGTP. If you don't know how to sign up for ChatGTP, you just can go to... Uh, I mean, really, you can look up uh, chatgpt.com, um, which uh, if you're not signed in already, it will take you to a landing page. And there's a free version that anybody can sign up to. It's really easy. You just need an email and password. And then you can use this. Uh, there's some usage limits, so you're only going to be able to use it so many times. But it's well worth the $20 a month. We use it a lot in our business, and I use it a lot personally. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful. and probably going to go punch this uh, up a little bit uh, based on the uh, description it gave me. And uh, the big value of this is, is if you're going to be hosting events in multiple locations, like let's say you're a tour, um, it allows you to make every single event description unique to that city or to that venue. If you're hosting a lot of events, like we have some customers that host a thousand events a year or more, um, obviously it's very hard to write really thought out event descriptions for every single one of those events, uh, just plugging in like the band name and the venue to this and allowing it to kind of write a lot of that for you could just punch up those and make them much more compelling 
um, across the board without having to do a ton of extra work. And that's what we're all about here at Event Vesta is finding ways to help event organizers do better marketing uh, without adding a bunch of extra stuff to your plate because we know you're already super busy. If you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Give me a comment down below if there's any way you would have done these prompts differently or anything that you found particularly helpful here. And tune in next week. We'll be doing another one probably uh, about event uh, images. And we're also working on a TikTok one as well. We've been doing a lot with TikTok and the TikTok algorithm. So we're excited to share how we think event organizers can use that. Thanks. Have a great rest of your week.